You must have seen a patient with a stiff extended posture or one with arms flexed tightly over the chest. These are decerebrate and decorticate postures and these are classic signs of severe brain injury. But what decides which posture appears? The answer lies in a small but powerful structure, the red nucleus. Let's break this down. Decorticate posturing looks like this, arms flexed, legs extended. Decerebrate posturing, arms and legs both extended with wrists pronated. These aren't random patterns, they're neuroanatomical reflexes due to disinhibition and intact brainstem pathways. To understand the postures, we need to revisit a few key players in the brain. Red nucleus is an important structure located in the midbrain. It gives rise to the rubrospinal tract, which primarily facilitates flexor tone in the upper limb. Similarly, vestibular nuclei in the pons medulla, sending the vestibulospinal tracts, which promote extensor tone in both upper and lower limbs. Now when a lesion occurs above the red nucleus, such as in the internal capsule or cerebral hemispheres, the corticospinal tract is interrupted, but the red nucleus and rubrospinal tract remain intact, so flexor tone in the upper limbs is still facilitated. Meanwhile, the vestibulospinal tracts are uninhibited, causing extensor tone in the lower limbs. Result is decorticate posture, arms flexed, legs extended. If the lesion is below the red nucleus, say in the lower midbrain or upper pons, both the corticospinal and rubrospinal tracts are disrupted. Only the vestibulospinal tracts remain active and unopposed. This results in extension in both upper and lower limbs, which is the decerebrate posture. So, in summary, decorticate posturing suggests supratentorial lesions and may have a relatively better outcome. Decerebrate posturing happens in infratentorial lesions and reflects brainstem involvement, especially below the red nucleus, and is more severe. So just by looking at the posture presentation in the patient, you can have an idea of where the lesion is present in the brain and what might be the prognosis. So decorticate, cortex gone, red nucleus spared and flexed arms. Decerebrate, everything's gone, including red nucleus causing total extension. Hope you like this video. Stay connected for more. Thanks for watching.